And now on Showcase, we have a storyteller. She weaves her enchanting stories in Istanbul these days, but her journey started in other lands. To find out more, we have Judith Malika Lieberman with us. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. So tell us how your storytelling journey began right at the beginning. Well, I, I was sort of born into it because my family had a commune in the 70s and you know in the 70s that was the moment when people started showing interest in storytelling again mm -hmm. and when i was little my parents created a group of storytellers and i was raised in this environment so they had festivals all the time we'd go to the forest with festi with storytellers mm -hmm. and in that environment when i was 14 i started training as a storyteller then when i was 19 i went to the conservatory and then that's the beginning of the story and it went on from there mm -hmm. somehow it brought you all the way to paris where you were actually when you tell your life story you say you were perfectly happy but then one day you thought life gets stale if not a little shaken tell us about this thought <laughs> and how it led you here to Istanbul? Well, I think that first I came to Istanbul because I wanted to get lost. Uh, oh, I was perfect place young. for it. Yeah. I, it's a perfect place to get lost. I was 23 and I thought, well, let me take one year off and come to this land and see what it's going to do to me. I, I love the feeling of being a foreigner and what it does. I think it stretches the soul. And, um, and in that way, I came here and then I fell in love with the country and I stayed. It's been 14 years. 14 years since <laughs> And then. I never thought I would be able to do my job as a storyteller in Turkey because I didn't speak Turkish. And also because the storytelling revival hadn't started in Turkey, but I was fortunate enough to be able to learn the language and start telling stories here. And, and that's what I do now. That's what you do. You tell stories in Turkish. Well, Istanbul is such a complex city. There's um, civilizations upon civilizations. And just walking around can make you feel like you're in some sort of alternative reality sometimes. How does the city inspire you and your storytelling? Oh, I mean, very often when I start planning my shows, I think every month I do a different show. And so I think, what is the theme this month? And sometimes Good. Istanbul inspires me because it's so magical. But sometimes Istanbul inspires me because it's so chaotic. So we've had a lot of shows about slowing down, taking time, not running <laughs> so right. because that's a lot of what istanbul is about slow down notice it's magical but it's also so fast that sometimes we forget how magical it is mm -hmm. well we have a storyteller uh, in the studio with us and you also have workshops and you teach storytelling as well as writing books so i have to ask you what are the elements that make a good story and can you give us some tips on how to tell a good story well, I think the basics on how to tell a good story is if you feel it, they'll feel it. If you see it, they'll see it. I say that storytelling, there's a lot of different definitions, but my favorite is that it's the art of making someone else see and feel something. And, and the trick in this is if you feel it, then they will feel it. And that, that's a very good discipline in daily life because once again, our city life goes so fast yeah. that we don't feel so much. Sometimes we skip it. And then at some, sometimes I work with group and they say, well, at night when I come home, I don't know what to tell my family about the day. And I say, well, if you haven't noticed as you live the day, any of the details of the special taste, what made the day delicious, then it's difficult to have a good story. But if during the day you pick little things, you say, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's magical. Oh that's going to make the story just pop and you use it then that's what makes real stories and invented stories come to life noticing what it makes daily life magical you're going to make some notes there um <laughs> so where could we find you what are you up to these days and if anybody wants to maybe attend one of your classes where would we find you in istanbul well in istanbul i have a group called masalhane mm -hmm. so that's where i i teach but i also do um a radio show and every week people listen to my stories i have a musician uh, on the radio that might be a place otherwise we're at kumbaraji uh, elle it's a theater and the uh, nazi mikmet kutu magazine every month where we have a couple of shows there every month well judith malika lieberman thank you for joining us thank you very much thank you